everybody G Bear homesteading the desert March 10th look at the sky cloudy it's sprinkling right now and uh, we had a little bit of a shower earlier today just a uh, light rain nothing really heavy um, just enough to wet the ground and then it stopped but uh, notice that there's no wind the turbines not moving and uh, what I'm going to show you here is uh, I got this little jar up here and I marked it with a piece of foil tape and I cut notches in it every eighth inch so I could see how much rain we got and it's just under the first eighth inch marker so there's just a little bit of water in there as you can see it moving nothing to really write home to mom about but uh, they said that uh, the, the forecast says that between 5 p.m. and 10 p.m. tonight, we're really going to get hit. So we're going to get some heavier rains at that time. So we're looking forward to that and see what we can get into the uh, water barrels here. And just with that little bit of rain that uh, you, you see in there, that's less than an eighth of an inch. There's my uh, there's my marker from just before the rain started so there's the water line right there at the top of my fingernail so we're looking at about three-eighths of an inch in both barrels this one and the one out back and uh, one other thing before I cut this short video even shorter I want to show you uh, I was asked a while back what do you do when you don't have any Sun and uh, how, how your battery's gonna work. Let me mute the TV here. I'm watching uh, this channel on in San Diego. Anyway, here's my uh, charge right there, 13.0. It's been fl fluctuating 13.0, 13.1. And uh, I think there's something wrong with this controller because it's not showing it putting in a charge here. Although, if we take a walk outside and go to the uh, battery room, I made some corrections this morning in here on the uh, wiring. And uh, you can see here that the, uh, the batteries, are sh the charges are showing about 13 volts. This one's showing only 12.5, and it's always done that. But see the arrow there, it's showing a charge. Uh, these cheap old Harbor Freight controllers, I don't think are really worth the plastic and materials that they're made out of. But uh, I'll probably down the line uh, just get a better controller and connect it up. Now something happened here. For some reason, all of a sudden, this one is showing um, sad batteries. Like the uh, the batteries aren't getting a charge for some reason. And I don't know why this one's showing that it is charging into the batteries and it's showing a charge on there. And this one's showing a charge. And this one was just fine a while ago. Oh, there we go. Oh, I, I know what it is. I, uh, I adjusted the, um, the cutoff point for it to go to, uh, to shut off the uh, power in. And I think I set it too low. So I'll, I'll have to readjust that. But uh, as you can see, that now it's showing that a charge is coming in. And uh, I've still got that shut off. But uh, 17 degrees Celsius, 2.7 amps coming in on the photovoltaic. And the load is not showing anything because, of course, uh, there's nothing connected to it. 7,268 amp hours. And... Uh, load says using one used one amp hour and the photovoltaic is off at 13.8 so um, I think I've got to change that setting and this setting load on at 13.5 and I probably got up to 13.5 and then it shut off the um, the system load off at 12.6 okay so I've got to readjust all of those. 24 hours for the load to run. 
and back to 13 volts showing a charge and happy battery that's where we wanted to be and also I've uh, found my other uh, waterproof wind and solar hybrid controller this one doesn't have any gauges it only has a little light here that lets you know that it's taken in a charge I never really did like it I just taped the wires up for now but uh, if I had to switch over real quick um, because one of these went out I could just tie into that real quick and it'd be right there so I know where to find it and uh, if I also bring in another uh, wind turbine this will handle a uh, 300 watt turbine at 12 volts, 600 watt at 24 volt. And um, this one's got its built in brake at 14, 5 volts for the wind generator and uh, recovery at 13.2 volts. And uh, the rated solar power for this is 500 to 1000 watts. So 500 at 12 volt, 1000 at 24 volts. So. This is a, a fairly decent little unit, but not having any gauges, it really doesn't tell you um, anything more than, yes, it's charging. Um, the light's on, it's charging. Well, it's a backup, and it's there, so just in case. Anyway, that's all there is to it for today. I will be uh, going inside and getting ready. I'm gonna, I think I'm going to make some fried chicken tonight with... Uh, uh, potatoes and carrots and uh, maybe some peas. Peas and carrots sound good. So, that's it. G-Bear signing off from another episode of Homesteading in the Desert.